All right, guys, what's going on? Bring you back. We're going to start the next video. Probably going to be a little short one here. Uh, and I'll show you the reason why. So I'm waiting on a few parts. As you've seen in the last video, we got the rear end under it. Got it lowered. It's looking good with them big wheels under there. I'm liking it. Also, I mentioned I've got the disc brake kit ready to go. And that's going to be the next project. But I decided to... I've got to replace ball joints and stuff like that in factory A-arms. So I ended up, I found a, a good deal on a set of tubular A-arms. So I'm waiting on them to get here. And they're supposed to be here by this weekend. So as soon as they get here, then we're going to get started on that, putting the disc brakes and all that stuff on. Uh, I'm out in the garage today. Wanted to make a little forward progress, whatever that may be. Um, a little bit late this afternoon, but we're going to go ahead and do something. So I'll show you what we're going to do here. And uh, I'm going to try to set you up on laps for the whole thing on this one is what I'm shooting for and I'll get you a little video put out here. Um, you actually just seen it, and uh, and I mentioned it, that I needed to do this other side, so we'll just jump straight in it, guys. Um, this side's not bad up in here, like the passenger side was. Um, and really, this piece is actually pretty solid, besides the little pinhole here. But I'm going to replace from here over to where the factory seam meets. Um, so when I done that side, guys, I had went over there and made my little channel piece uh, for that side. So the biggest part that's wrong with this one is, you know, the channel. So I'm gonna use what I got left of this little channel and then uh, we'll probably do the same thing. Hold that one up there. We'll kind of scribe it, go around. And we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna try to pop that little section in real quick. So that's what we're gonna do today, guys. And uh, I'll set you up on laps and, and get you a little one put out here. See you guys.
All right, guys, what's going on? Next day in the shop, I'll show you what we got with this uh, this little tail pin section. And uh, I was gonna do a little short video, but I think I'm gonna add just a little more to it. And uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. But first, we'll show you how this turned out. It turned out great. And we'll go from there, guys. So this is our other side. And I've got you laps on all of it. Um, we put this piece in, made the little channel, got it welded up. I still like a little finish grinding in there. And as far as this piece here, guys, it's got, you know, a little surface rust on it and stuff like that. But I don't think I'm going to replace it. I think it's, it's fine just the way it is. And that piece turned out pretty good. So we've got both sides done. You guys seen this side go in. Uh, depending on how much footage I get you today, uh, on this little corner under the tail light that you're seeing the work footage on, I'll try to slow it down. That way you guys can you know, hopefully see what I'm doing. Uh, a little bit of freestyle sheet metal work. You know, this is something I did a little bit of before this car but I've really got to doing it a lot more with this car because I'm not buying new panels for it, guys. You know, I'm I'm doing this stuff on the fly and showing that you can build these cars by hand without throwing a bunch of, you know, money and buying new sheet metal and all that good stuff. You know, and it started as a four-door, so that's why I wanted to do it. That's why I'm gonna do it. But all right, guys, I'll show you what we're coming up for today. I think I'm gonna add a little more. And this is some stuff that I've needed to do. I just haven't sat down to do it. So all these Bel Air trim molding holes in the doors, you know, there's some up here and these doors had, somebody had filled them with body filler before I owned them. No big deal. So I'm keeping this car stripped down version, 150 version. Um, and I've got my quarter molding and all that, so I'll just be running the quarter molding, you know, up to the door like the 55s do and up. And then potentially a little piece down. Maybe not the little piece down. I can't remember what all I've got. But none of the front stainless is going to be going on. Both sides of the car are like that. Uh, so that's what we're going to tackle today is these holes. Now, typically... I like to use air as I'm going through there uh, to do this stuff. In this shop I'm in right now, I don't have air. Uh, just like before, I'm using basic hand tools, guys. Electric stuff, and, and that's basically it. So how I'm gonna do it today, and I'll set you up on laps. I'll get me a little bucket of water, and we'll use this sponge. And then also another little trick I learned is get your piece of copper guys smash it down and then when you're welding you know if you can reach these which i'll have to reach the door put that copper on the back side of that hole and then that helps hold your weld in as you're welding and then especially with these big flat body panels guys take your time you know and that's what we're going to be using the damp sponge for, so we'll weld just a little bit, cool, weld, cool, and use the copper where we can. That's the plan today, guys. So I'll set you up on laps and, uh, and we'll go from there. See you.
All right guys, what's going on? Bring you back just a second, show you what we've got before I grind it. Uh, we've done both sides of the car. Actually, I just seen one I just missed, but we'll get that one here in a minute. So we went through, welded up all the Bel Air hose. As you guys seen on laps, 
uh, using the sponge, using the piece of brass behind the hole, you know, works pretty good. When you're on the corners, it's not terrible. You still want to cool. But biggest part is cooling, especially on these big flat panels. You know, if you can see down this door before I do any grinding, it still looks good and straight. So you want to keep that as straight as you can. You know, that'll help you in the long run with when we go to put the body filler. Now on the 55 fender, they've already got this factory crease in them right here, which actually gives that metal a little bit of strength, but you still want to cool as you're going. So that's what we've got so far, guys. I'll uh, set you on laps and we'll get some of this ground out and go from there. Bring you back, guys.
All right, guys, what's going on? Bring you back here just a second and show you what we come up with on welding these bell air holes up and uh, getting everything basically stripped down to a 150. So uh, show you what we got going and then we'll probably cap this one right here, guys. So I've got your work footage on it. This is what we come up with. with our Bel Air holes, welded up, ground out, all that good stuff. Both sides. Both sides turned out great. So uh, as you've seen in this lapse, guys, the uh, the trick to this is cooling, especially when you're on, you know, these these big flat panels. So with here and here, it's not near as bad. You need to cool some, but especially cool through here if you have to weld these holes up. Now, if you guys can see this line right here. After I got it ground out and I used that little DA palm sander, see how smooth that line is? I kept that palm sander straight and that told me that the door is not dipped real bad. Yeah, there's going to have to be a little bit of filler in it, but it stayed pretty straight. As you guys can see down through there with throwing the heat on it. But the only reason it was able to stay straight is because I was cooling. If you just throw a bunch of heat on there, welding them holes up, stuff like that, you know, your door's going to go every which way. So it takes time, all that good stuff. Take your time with this if, if this is something you have to do on your project. On 55, you know, these fenders has this roll right here. Gives it a little bit of strength, like I said earlier in the video but you still need to cool. Both sides turned out good and straight, and that's where we're gonna go with this one, guys. So as always, like, subscribe, comment, talk to me, guys. See you.